mind wandering. My thoughts drift. Why am I drawn to him? We walk as one through time. His eyes explore me. He touches my very soul. And I know now, more than ever, that he is the one. I walk to work. I've been doing it nine months. It feels more like nine years. And then there's her. She's fantastic. All I need is a drink to a Mm. Morning, Ryan. Late one, was it? No, just the usual. I had to open up again. Not good, me son. We call us valuable clients. Open at them. That's our approach. Take this customer for me, will you? Morning, Philip. Don't worry, my young assistant Ryan will be able to help you. How's your mother? Saw down the market the other day. Cracking, lass. Got it, guys. It's like Cheers, Ryan, where everybody knows your name and everybody's glad you came. I'm just not cut out for the porn business. What, you're not used to dealing with massive pricks? <laughs> Seriously don't, it's not fucking funny. 31 and I'm working as a retail assistant in a shop with three X's over the door. Saw her again this morning. Who? Her. The one, you know. For fuck's sake. What? The ever so perfect lady on the walk to work. So bloody perfect, you've never even spoken to her. Seriously though, what's she not gonna like? Hmm, let's see. The hair, the clothes, the shoes. Exactly, I'm a catch. The problem is, there's no problem, you tosser. You're perfectly normal. The thing about you and me, Ryan, is we're men of fortune. We don't like to be tied down, unlike your mum. What? We're meant to be single, mate. Add to that that you've got the best job on earth and you're laughing. I get paid 5 90 an hour. Fuck me. That really is shocking. Looks like I'm getting them in, you pauper. No, mate, really, I should head off. I just want a quiet one. Ladies, you're having a total tummy trauma, and my girl this week is no exception. This show's complete bollocks. No man's gonna get me on telly displaying my bits, no matter how empowering or how many go girlfriends he throws my way. Even Jerry doesn't see my bits in the cold light of day, let alone his mum over a TV dinner. What, are you two not? He's on a tight leash at the moment. He's getting more than he deserves, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's like a rat up a drain pipe, way to wake a woman feel special. Are body sculpting pants magic or tragic? What about you then, Anna? What about that fuck that you went for a drink with last week? <sighs> Stop it, it's not funny. I've been on loads of dates with perfectly nice men. Who's that from then? It's just Ryan. Oh, Mr. Pawn Shot Ryan. Don't know how you spend so much time with that loser. He 
It's not that bad. Shut, 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 no shut. Way, seriously. Oh, come on. Oh. oh, number two. Oh, mate. That's her. She's the one. My hello, Fitty. Jokes aside, though, mate, unless she's mildly retarded, you've got more chance of being rimmed by Barry Chuckle. <laughs> Good luck, big man. Hiya. Oh, yeah. It's you. Do I know you? No, not really. But I, I walk past you every day on the way to work. Sorry, my English is not so good. Um, anyway, I, I, I just thought I'd say hi. Do you fancy a drink? Okay. Nailed it, Dickie. Hey you, what's up? Do you know what time it is? I know, sorry, I, I've been out with John, I just thought I'd give you a call. It's three o'clock, idiot. I saw her again tonight. Why are you telling me this? I, I don't know why, I just thought... You never think, Ryan. You can't keep doing this. Oh, hang on. I've seen chicken, Ryan? sorry. I've seen chicken. Ryan? How much is this, mate? Five pounds, sir. How much is this, mate? Five pound. How much is this, mate? Look. Everything in the bargain bin is five pound. It's not everything's a pound or everything's a different price, but everything is five pound. As per the big sign on the side of the bin. What's wrong with you today? You look a bit uh, under the weather, if you don't mind me saying so. No, I'm just in a bit of a rut. I'm in a job, no disrespect, that I'm lukewarm about. My best and only female friend Anna hates me and I'm desperately hungover. Mm. Love and hate. Two sides of the same coin. What? Well, this girl Anna. She's the one for you. You sit and talk about her all day. Right. No disrespect. It's the only time you say it and that's worthwhile. <sighs> Sorry boss, I think you've got the wrong end of the... Listen to me and listen good. You have the afternoon off. Go find this girl and tell her what needs to be said. What if she says... No, no, no. She won't say no. Go on. How much is this, mate? Five fucking pound, man. Jesus. What am I doing here, Ryan? You barge into my office, my boss thinks you're mental and you haven't spoken for the last ten minutes. Look, I know most of the time you think I speak bollocks. What? Just be quiet for a second. And I know you think I'm this massive loser for being in my 30s and doing what I do. But I've realised something. What is this? You wake me up last night and now you bring me out here? You're good for me. I'm not just here to make you feel better about yourself. No. I meant to say, we're good together. I've spent all this time talking about this girl or that girl, and I've missed the one sat right next to me. What I'm trying to say, and monumentally fucking up, is that I like you. You know I do.
Just me and you, no pet. Yeah, a little something for the grown and sex, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like a little bit of grown folk music. <laughs> You're my super wifey. Sit right here beside me. 